Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Heroes. Today, Treehouse Part 16. 16, yeah. We're gonna be building a door for the treehouse. <laughs> um, long overdue. It's a very wet day today. Well, not very wet, but pretty wet day today. It's gray, overcast. Raining a bit right now. It's gonna be on and off all day. So interesting trying to film it all with the new gear without getting it all wet, but we're gonna give it a go. What's going on with this, guys? We would like to build a door, and we have a lot of wood just sitting here that we can use. So we're gonna top the, chop the top off of the lean-to and use the material from up there for the door up there. Yeah, we were sat here last night and talking about the size of this thing and it's just it's just too big and it's and like a few people have said it's not a good use of material it's kind of a bit wasteful but well I mean, it was really fun to do oh yeah and um but practically it doesn't need to be that big uh, the only thing i can see that it's good for right now is for light reflection when we have a fire yeah it is bright isn't it um but we don't need it and it's loads of material so so we're gonna zip these off with the uh katana boy collect everything up and then we're gonna start building a door frame for the door so let's go done all trimmed along the top we feel it's much much better this way um, really good very happy with this now we're gonna pick out some good solid pieces to build our frame for our door and then we're gonna find some other pieces to actually build the the door yeah stick with us here we go so now we're gonna square up at least one side of this log and because we want square sides f to face in on where we're going to build the door frame. But for now, yeah, using the draw knife, squaring up logs, that's what we're doing. So the boys are hard at work, both squaring up some timbers for the inside of the frame so that the door closes nicely inside it. And uh, Ruben is making the, yeah, the top horizontal for the frame. Um, so essentially we're building a, a three piece door frame that's gonna sit inside uh, the entrance to the shelter. And then the, the door is gonna fit inside of the frame because it's gonna be way too rickety if we just try and fix the door directly to the shelter. So it really does need a separate door frame. So that's what we're doing right now. Or should I say what they're doing right now? Okay guys, so it's been a busy morning so far. Uh, a couple of guys went down to the lake and collected up loads of uh, thin sort of uh, thumb to, to wrist size pieces uh, from the river for the um, weaving in the door frame. Bo just finished draw knifing the, f the first upright. So I'm gonna have another go with this flex cut draw knife and uh, try and put a flat edge on this piece as well. I got ideas about everything, mate. This is the top horizontal portion of our rough door frame. 
and we're just drilling in from the top so that we can dowel into the vertical, the top of the vertical supports. So pretty much this is our, our hinge side of the frame. And then this is gonna get drilled out and fastened in here. And then we'll, we're gonna run a dowel right through into this piece. Yeah? Yeah. Makes sense? Makes sense. So you're gonna drill a hole? Gonna drill a hole. made a few dowels and, we'll, we'll cut and these are going to go so all, into like this the, end grain like this we're going to mallet them in and then we're going to slot our top piece on top cut our lines and wedge it out so we we'll get into it yeah So that piece can sit on top, right? That's yeah. good, huh? Yeah. But is that all the way in? No, I just don't want to hammer it too much more because we're going to run out of space to cut and lay the piece in, right? Because um, you want to be able to a bit more? As far as you can, I think. And then adjust so awesome. So right now we're just cutting a groove with the saw to dowel a wedge. So to put the wedge into the end of the dowel once we put our end cap on. So we've been thinking about whether we should fit the door frame, the uh, exterior frame together up there or down on the ground. Um, it seems like once we're up there, we're limited by uh, the ceiling and um, our sort of workspace is a little bit more restricted. So we're gonna try and fit it together down here. First of all, we're gonna cut it to the right height, both of them, fit it together down here, and then three of us will carry it up and then we'll put it in place and go from there. Just getting this guy thin on one end so that when we wedge it in, it just does its job nicely, goes right in. I, I think it's going to be too wide right now, though, isn't it? So I'll have It'll to take. It'll split away on its own. Okay, it, Rube says it will split, so I trust him. So we just banged our wedges into the end. Here. Now I'm just going to saw it off flush. And there we have a nice doweled piece. So our door frame is finished, I guess. 
And what are we gonna do now? We're gonna carry it up. Maybe three of us are gonna carry it up the stairs and then we're gonna install it in its final resting place and then get on with the door. I think we're gonna just um, do basically the same method with the door as we'll uh, flush off the, the outer side so that the two square edges will meet. And then uh, we might have to do two sides of the door squared off for building mm. our frame but we'll see we might even have to just lay the frame on the ground too and then measure up the door pieces and fit dry fit it down here and then bring it upstairs but i think that might have just been the best idea that happened on camera we'll leave it down we'll build our door frame inside of this while it's down so we get a rough sizing yeah sweet sounds great awesome Okay guys, so we're making some good progress on the door. Um, the boys went down to the river this morning and collected up a load of these really thin, nice flexible pieces of uh, timber. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the thin ends and we're going to cut them to the width of the door. And then we're going to put one down the middle, fix it into the, fra the, the frame of the door, not the door frame, but the frame of the door. And then we're going to weave them uh, so there's going to be one here, so we're going to weave one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, one under. So we're just going to start measuring these up and cutting them to length so when the boys get back from shooting, they've got something to work with. So guys, much like when we were doing the beds, I'm going to chop the excess off, measure it to our mark. We're just drilling the holes for the bottom plate and the top plate of the door, the horizontal portions, so we can pin up the two side portions. Our subscribers shared with us a really useful tip for when you want to put a dowel into a hole and wedge it from the inside of the hole where there's no access because the hole doesn't pass all the way through the wood. Ruben's going to show you exactly what that means right now. It's a good size wedge. Put a cut so that you can put the wedge in. As the wedge gets driven in, uh, it spreads out and tightens. seats itself, tightens it into the hole. Nice. Is seated. Boom. And that is so tight. Holy moly. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we can't get away with anything around here. Making some more coffee. Oh, yeah. 
pretty much this one. We could just have this. This is the outside. Right. So we could have this on the inside. We go with this hole. Uh, we just got to measure up this guy. Sorry. So we'll hold that one up level. Okay. Well, I'll stop on that one. This has been a pretty crazy project. It's taken us a few, like four hours to get to this point maybe. We've had some breaks though, five hours. Uh, yeah. But I think it's gonna pay off. Hopefully. It's very delicate <laughs> as well as it. Yeah, I think the building the, f the frame with a door inside it all hinged together with all these dowels is quite elaborate. But I'm hoping it's gonna. We're a little limited by the poplar too, I think. If we were able to use pine, we'd obviously be doing much better. This is all pretty flimsy. Not flimsy, but I don't know what the word is. Just soft wood. Softer wood. Wet. This project has been insane. There's been so many tricky little fittings and we're working with logs that aren't straight and we're trying to make everything square and we've got certain little things tied up to keep the door from falling apart and the frame, like we don't know what's gonna happen. So now we're just gonna stand it up and see how it sits and just go from there and make adjustments if we need to. Jeez. <laughs> Well, it looks really cool, <laughs> even if it doesn't work. Can I knock on it? Is it going to open? <laughs> I don't know. It's tight. It wants so to piv actually going on the pivoting on this one. Yeah. <laughs> but it works. Well, that actually is fine because I was thinking if you put a a thin bit just down there and then just lash onto that with the little <laughs> that's bits, crazy. that's fine. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Because this is too tight. The dowel just doesn't want to spin. <laughs> Let's carry it against, put it against the wall over it here. It looks really cool. Put it in the fence. <laughs> put it in the fence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really cool. Let's put it in the fence. That. Let's do it. Ow. Oh, oh, really heavy. Slam my fingers in. All right, so as you can see, it opens and closes. But this piece was supposed to be part of the door. And now it's just a part of the hinge and the frame and everything. So the door pivots. And to, then we added this one so that we can weave branches in. And we can still open and close the door without this original door structure being an issue. So the more we do it, it gets smoother. It kind of wears it in. Amazing. Right, let's get weaving. I am weaving. Weaving? Yeah, weaving Hugo. What? Hugo weaving. I am taking these little, these little ones that we've uh, been cut to size and we're just gonna go each side of this middle brace and slowly stack them all up and then cut the edges off as we go. And you should have a fairly It'll look kind of cool, I think, by the time it's done. Get the pollution up, people. Okay. Thanks. Oh mate, it looks awesome. Feels tight. So I think... What about that top dowel? Does that come off? That? Yeah. Let's cut that off. Okay guys, so I think what we're gonna do is we've ran out of uh, these little slats. So for now, because we're running out of daylight, we're gonna call it a day on finishing all the way up to the top, although we will finish it in one of the subsequent videos and leave it like a kind of, um, I don't know what they call that, where you have a door with a window on the top. A door with a window storm on door. The, A storm door, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna take this up into the tree house and fit it, but it actually works 
lovely. That is ridiculously smooth, man. Ridiculously smooth. Jules. So we're gonna try and wing this up into the treehouse. It's gonna be an interesting maneuver. This is gonna be really interesting, boys. Up the stairs, so maybe we'll have to clear off those stairs. Back first. And get set, so we'll get all set up and be right back with you to finish this off and get it all set up in the treehouse. Awesome. We need okay, we're about to take this beast up the stairs and install it. Here we go. So, so we gotta turn we gotta turn it around and then lay the top to them. So if you guys okay. wanna go back there and so flip this it hinge is gonna be on what side? This hinge is going it's gonna be right hand side facing. Right. Yeah. When you're facing. So it needs to be turned. Yeah. Yeah we gotta flip it. So you come ready? Yeah one. There you go. You come to me. Walk it up. Yeah, up. And it's gonna have to go on an angle. Like, probably this angle. Door of the treehouse is going in, mate! Oh my right, god! <sighs> oh. I don't want to you off of here. Okay. Okay, so come in. Some more. This so one. You gotta go towards the yeah. foot and that, and then this is gonna go in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and out a bit. In this way? In this way. And then yeah. out on that one, yeah. yeah. Hey, that worked out pretty good with my angled cuts. Okay, I'll get some quarters and tie that top corner up. It's just still a little... Kick it out then. Okay, that's good. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it looks so cool with you boys up there. Amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> right, you're gonna lash this to this guy. Put a rope from this one. I think he's gonna do it. Yeah. We'll just let him uh, just tying the door frame to the structure, um, so we it's can let go amazing. and just. What's it feel like in there? Like looking out. It feels cool. Like Have a door. Prison. Bushcraft prison. We made a bushcraft prison for our guests. <laughs> So it actually worked out really well only doing half of this door because we ran out of bits but um, now if you're up in the treehouse you can kind of look down and say hello to everyone down in the middle. Um, it just looks amazing from up here as well. The whole camp is just looking awesome. Well happy with that mate, let me tell you. It's been a long day though. We started at about nine o'clock this morning and it's probably gone five o'clock now. So it's been a full nine to fiver which our guests are really happy about probably. Hey, come camping, yeah, you know, be nice. Put you to work for eight hours straight. It's the grand opening. I should film the grand opening. That one is just... It's amazing! <laughs> I would tie that other side of the frame up though. Yeah, for sure, but that's pretty structure. Mm. We should make something that could just yeah. be split up like that. Yeah, I think they'll make a large for it. Go on, open her one more time. Hello! Nice. Cool. That is sick. Oh, boys. Yeah, and it kind of comes to the line. Let's just tie that top piece up. Something different than this, this stuff sucks. Nice. I can see it falling into shape perfectly. We do need to sham it sham for that base plate eventually as well. Just so it's not a tripping ha hazard yet. I can't believe we actually did it. Almost finished. We're just doing some finishing touches. We're going to put the string from the front onto the inside for the tension and kind of leave it at that for now. And we'll maybe do some uh, fineries on it in a later episode.
so just for you guys to know, um, we built a frame, this, this frame. Um, we doweled the entire thing together. So there's a dowel coming through the top of the top plate into this piece here. And there's a dowel going through this piece into here. Then the plan was, this is supposed to be the edge of the door. So there's a dowel also running all the way through the top of the frame, through the top of the door frame into this piece. And then a piece going through this, all the way through the bottom of the frame, all the way through the footer. But it didn't pivot right on there. The door just wanted to open um, because the dowel doesn't want to spin. So then we added this additional one on the inside here to make our weave from. So it actually worked out great, although it wasn't exactly what we had planned. So now it pivots like this, which works plenty fine enough, just not quite the original design. But there you go, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> How'd you sleep, kid? Good. But I see that the winds of change have come in. Winter's coming. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. Not the wool blanket is not really holding up on its own right now. So, next trip will be sleeping bag time mm -hmm. again. But pretty good considering that it got pretty nippy last night. You ready for breakfast? I am. What are you ready for? Two packs of bacon, 12 eggs. Or is it three packs of bacon? I can't remember. How'd you sleep, Rube? Pretty good. Dying then. Feel yeah. Emotionally satisfied. You feel emotionally satisfied? Yeah, that we put so much hard work into building that door and then it was done and it works like a charm. Yeah, it really That's does. That's probably the best thing about it. <coughs> I could, when I went in last night, I actually opened and closed it like four or five times <laughs> on the way in. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, it's still working. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's level and... I think it's going to make, it's going to make a huge difference in the winter and when it's fully finished, the weave is done. Mm-hmm. And then it'll keep the heat in better. We won't have this. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. better with the door. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been a wicked day. We've had some great friends along for the ride. We managed to get the door done, and it was a bit of a pickle here and there. But it was a bit of an engineering feat, wasn't yeah, it, to really? be honest? It was. And it's all different bits and bobs of wood. It's None of it's matching, but it kind of adds to the uh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please leave a like or a comment and let us know what you thought uh, or what you'd like to see or any advice and tips that you might have about door building in bushcraft. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it right now. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.